Hello everyone, it's Love here and in the new year 2024, this is our first deck and first of all I want to say a huge thank you. I will be reading all of the comments after this video is done and I already read most of the wishes so guys you are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the kind words and I'm so so happy that you enjoyed the channel after months and years into the making so thank you for that. That was really wholesome to read so hopefully this deck will do it for you because uh, this is a Jeskai control with Zurgo, some battles and I'm really happy with some of the choices. You will also see Invasion of Arcavios used in this game or in those games and yeah we have a lot of doubling like we have very sneaky plays. We have a lot of N target uh, you know things and Zurgo and Ujet, I love skilling battles so their synergies are there and I think you will like the deck. So with no further ado you want some action in New Year? I think this deck is a worthy first one and I really like Jeskai. I was thinking that we are going into the future year, right? And there will be Helix. And oh boy, Jeskai will be even better. So let's prepare. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy, have fun, and yeah, thank you for all the kind words. That's really appreciated. All right, our opponent goes first. Our mana base is very sketchy. It will be hard to use it efficiently, but we kind of have the stuff that we need. We see how aggressive our opponent is. I honestly will go for the forge. This is a really good draw. Um, I will just pay, you know, pay life to get a good tempo start. Because if we can kill our opponents to drop with torch the tower, that's insane. Okay, very nice. And then we go with the pass, and that fixes our problems a little bit. We can also next turn go Celestus, so we ramp and torch the tower on top of it. That's really good. Now let's see if that's Rafin. You're a fin, bro. Oh, right. That's that's interesting. That is interesting. I risk it. We can always go Sunfall. And here is the oh my god, the, the bat army. So a little bit sketchy, but if he plays the bat, he I don't think he has two bats. Not at this stage of the game. He already dropped two. That means he cannot exile both Sunfall. Oh man, that's so good. Oh man, that's that's so good. Oh man, that's so good. I don't want to discard a single card from this. Can I keep them all, please? I will regret it so much, man. <laughs> At some point, I will regret it so much. I think because our opponent is playing like this, we don't want to tap main face. And don't forget, if he plays a huge creature, we can just fire Sir Victor and get card advantage this way. Oh, he has the Jiggle stuff. Jiggle stuff. Man, this is one of the best sleeves ever. Like, it just makes you happy. Uh, scary. Sunfallable. You, you see a gap. I see just a sunfall talk. <laughs> Man, that's pretty brutal, but also pretty on point. Alright, so this is probably the turn to just... Man, I tell you, I regret it so much that I discarded sunfall. Because he probably will play a new one soon. Uh, we use this turn to go for the Spire. This means that on the next turn we have two more mana than now. That should help a little bit. I'm scared, man. Like, this is the type of... Like, I hope he plays one. Because I cannot answer now. Okay, that's fine. This is the card that I absolutely do not mind. He wants those 4-4 four, four bats. Huh. Alright. Interesting. We could go for Memory Drush. That's a pretty good deal. If he attacks, we can... Yeah, I think we wait. I know Invasion of Arcavios is super good. And he has some hate aggression, right? This seems to be a low key, like this card deck. So Invasion of Arcavios could be great. The point... Uh, man, I have three mana. No, I don't. For some reason, I thought I have. All right, so we pass this turn and we try to, you know, activate stuff so we prepare for the next one. We can activate the, you know, the thing mana to counter the wedding announcement for the turn and I think that's pretty good and then we can cast memory Delush, and that's pretty good deal like we are in very sketchy position but if we do it right no blockers do you want to fire some victory no I think we go memory Delush. this is better target for counter spells if, if he plays those so we probably, you know, get one of the hand. All right, I'm stuck. Let's see. Do you have a make disappear? No. 
a lot of lands, man. I think so. Kenzan is pretty good. Uh, Anchorage is great, but it comes tapped, and that will be too slow. I need to be faster than this. This kind of answers both of the tokens at instant speed. So good stuff overall. Good stuff overall. We still lack one mana. I can go dissipate, but it's not worth it. We could double cycle with Celestus, but we lose tempo and we need more tempo. Uh, I will just use Sokenzan and then use the 4 mana to answer the rest. And that's not something he expects. He really wants to flip, he wants to take the bat, make a 4-4 four -four with lifelink and discard our best cards. And now he will be in some trouble, sure. Like, he, if he invests so many cards into, you know, negating this, we can just keep Fires of Victor on this and, like, fully deny his plan anyway. If he's losing so much value, uh, we can waste a little bit of value. Especially that we have better cards in the grave. Oh, I could kill this one as well. But I think it's Tarkir target. I don't see a difference between three defense tokens and two defense tokens. Oh, I should probably do it before attack. My bad. Oh, nice. Night, uh, daytime. Daytime is favorite for control players because you know you usually draw a card soon. So... This is definitely a Tarkir target. Okay, now no priority, that's huge. You really want to know about stuff like this. And we don't know if he has anything scary. We definitely go sideboard. And now, we have memory doors in the graveyard. I think it's dissipate. Like, you can see that I'm such a control player. I cannot cast it on this turn, but I can do it on the next turn. And with double memory Druge, I don't think we're super scared. Sure. Oh boy, this is so weak. <laughs> this is... I love it. This does literally nothing. He can protect it with the plaza, so it will be a bit work. But... Uh, that, was, that was a mistake. I'm so bad at this. So they can use one plaza, right? Well, that was a huge mistake playing this land. All right, then. Well, with, because of my mistake, that suddenly became a small problem. Let's see if we draw a good card. Are you a good card? Not really. Not really. I think I might actually sacrifice the Spire. I'm not sure. Let's count the mana. We have seven. Rafine. And he knows what happens to Rafine. All right, then. You got your counter spell. Worthy target. We need to get it before it's summoned to the battlefield. That will be a bit hard, right? I honestly think it's worth it. Let's try. And this is all to buffer my mistake from before. So, generally a very bad play on my part. I could draw a card with this. Is it even worth it? I'm not sure. Oh no, no, oh man. I wanted to do the Fires of Victor and then I thought, yeah, well, we, we just do it after the combat. I forgot this is a land that I needed to do the play. Right, so we just made our gameplay much harder. Good, good, we will test the deck. And I think now we will try to, you know, we will try to, moment, I'm thinking. Okay, let's pass the turn. Uh, we'll try to fight the bats on the board. So he will get the token because of the sum of my double misplay. And then we'll try to go memory deluge and try to get good stuff. He will remove something from my hand. He could go for Rafin. Let's see if he takes Rafin or something else. Okay, and this is the point, right? That he doesn't get too much of a choice and he knows about it. And this isn't legendary, so it's way easier to kill. And now with memory douche, I will get more cards. So even if you make a, a misplay, you can absolutely go around it. Well, those are some insanely good cards, man. Zurgo, this is the value we probably need. Burn down the house kind of solves everything. 
I mean, I will take Emperor is also very tempting, but we'll, we, we will go with this one. Okay, we pass the turn. Good stuff, good stuff. Hmm. I don't think I can kill Danik, but I also don't think I have to. We start with this. We get our stuff back. You can see that this this bat isn't super scary. It yes, it attacks your hand, but when you have memory the rouge that cannot be hit, this is basically your second hand. And they cannot affect this one. Sure. Good. One land. Out. And we don't have enough cards. But we don't care because we this is just a life game. And when we play this, suddenly things get wild because our stuff is just so much better. And I'm attacking Archavius. Because it's two attacks, this forces his reaction very heavily, and I already got the card. You can see that this deck doesn't like really need a hard cardo, you just get cardo by the way. And we definitely do not take it back. We have more, so if this one dies, it's okay. Um, sure. I don't think I will get an... Oh man, that's so good. I'm such a sucker for counter spells, man. I think it's Invasion uh, of Dominaria. We basically trade through one random card and some life gain for a very, very strong card. This can be a win con. All right, that's good. And you know, sometimes when I misplay, I'm actually fine with it because it makes the game a bit more interesting. And you know, like you have more situations and you kind of need to work your way back from this. Man, I can just play Chandra and double flip this. This was also one of the ideas. And this can block. So we kind of need to kill it. All right, I, I have an idea. This will be a bit of a problem, so we need to be aware of it. If I go with this. Yeah, I really like my cards, man. Lifelink kinda matters, but not super much. Not legendary. This one doesn't work, my friend. Here we go. Nice. Now, flipping your favorite card of standard. Just, you know, getting free double spells. <laughs> Never hurts. And I would love to mill his card, man. I would absolutely love it. Let's see what we hit with Zurgo. Maybe there is a chance. I mean, this kind of works. I'll take this. And this negates his full draw. Uh, do I want... I will burn down the house for the token so we don't need to bounce it. Man, this will be brutal. Man, it's, it's getting to the cool part of the game. This is the type of magic I so enjoy. Right, so... It's, we will get double spells, right? Cool. Uh, I think we still play the land. Even though we have fires and I'm definitely, you know, not getting optimal trades here, but I just have so many cool cards, man. We still have Memory in the graveyard. We have Celestus. Uh, the only thing I'm not super happy about is I don't have two mana for a negate, but this play is just so good. Should I cast it before? No, because this wouldn't be double. And you can see, man, we actually won the game by playing a sweeper that didn't sweep, so you can see how devils, how much pressure the devils create. Man, that was super fun and the gut was too slow. Alright, man, we really like to draw our pain lands, huh? Let's play our play pain lands then. Man, I deliberately put less of them so I don't overdraw them, but it seems that I still will overdraw them. Uh, and this is a cool land, I didn't see this one so far. Alright then. Uh, so. Let's use some Invasions of the Minaria. Uh, the good part is that we basically do three cards and we need only one land. So I'm sure, I'm sure there's no chance we'll miss it. I already like the guy, man. He's playing cool dinosaurs with cool skin with, uh, <laughs> with the rest. And let's see if we are good at magic or bad and we miss all the landers. No, we are really good at magic. We hit a land. Man, this is a pretty cool skin. Poor dinosaur. One of them is having a lot of fun. The second one, not so much. Uh, I actually don't know what the card does. Enters, uh, search for a basic land, goes to the hand. 
and then when you exile it in 5 mana, it's transformed and it does something that nobody ever read. Alright, that's a, that's definitely a nice draw. So, so, I will go with this one. I should probably read it, but I'll be honest guys, I don't want to read it. And now we draw a card. Not exactly what we needed. I wanted a red lamp. Is this Fires of Victory? It kind of solves some of the problems. Man, I'm I'm like I'm so hopeless. I will just always take value and lands. Oh man, I'm so greedy. Like I should be absolutely punished, and it is transformed. But the two dinosaurs is honestly not the worst part. I might draw a different land. We will go with Z Zurgo. And now the question: Do we want to fight for the board and flip this? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's actually so cool. This was the idea for the deck. And we keep drawing cards. And we will get so much value here. I want red mana. I really need the red mana to keep, you know, stuff going. We decline. And we get a free angel. This will definitely help a lot. We keep playing clans. So, it's Emperor and Torch the Tower probably, right? Yeah, kinda. I think that's good enough. And you can see that those invasions of Dominaria... Yeah, I should definitely read the car what the card does. Man, it has four chapters. It has a tally. <laughs> right. It's looking great. Don't hit my Sunfall, please. Instantly a Sunfall. This is one of the two cards I needed to fish. Are you serious, man? He actually can't. He actually cast it. Man, his nick was not lying. <laughs> you know what? This is a game worthy of a new year. Absolutely. Let's go for the deluge. And I think with this... Man, I, I need to thank him. That was really kind of him. A Fires of Victory. And I will go with Celestus because that means I can actually influence what I draw. Which is my favorite part of magic. Let's kill this. That will save a little bit of work on the next turn. And we play a good land. I can fully tap this turn. You know what? I think our... And what are you doing and again? Uh, two lore. Okay. Search dinosaur. So a tally. So he will try to cast another tally. You know what? We are going with the big stuff. We don't care. We just want our huge dinosaurs to hit each other. Like, he, his skin is, like, very fitting, or the avatar. Quick stud is super tempting. Invasion of Tarkir. I think we go for quick stud. This will be a fun game. Like, we will just bash, you know, our heads against the opponent's creatures and see who has the bigger ones. Oh, boy. It's getting serious. Reveal that many cards. Put any number of dinosaur cards. Into the battlefield? What can go wrong? Oh, it's a tally. Or oh, whatever. And not sure what he hit. Is it the... Okay, a tally was exiled. So the duelist, sure. That dies to uh, burn down the house. I mean, we don't mind it too much. I will play land. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this. Oh, oh, is it permanent? Okay, I'm not sure. Roar of the fifth people gains. Cre oh, so this has the effect. Okay, that makes sense. What is the next chapter? Double strike. Well, well then. I probably want to make sure that things don't kill me. Uh, no vigilance though. So we will emperor this for mana. And then we have five mana for the rest. I mean, torch the tower. I mean, we don't need to do anything then. So we actually fight for this board. Man, that's so epic. We not only seen cool dinosaurs, but we also endured the full saga, the fa four chapters in total. Oh, the greed. Oh, it's it's getting over. I have to take it. He probably doesn't play a single non-creature, and I still am taking it. I could also burn down the house, but... Hmm. 
I want to fight for the board. We are not giving up on it. He has the 6 6, so that will be a little bit scary. And we didn't cast anything, so we can cycle the. I thought we didn't. Oh, right, this was the, this was the spell. Alright, here we go. A 14 attack Atari. Nothing that gets us. 6 toughness, little known fact. Uh, exactly fires of victory stuff. This one has vigilance, so it's good to kill it first. We don't have luxury of drawing more cards, so we just go for the, you know, instant value. It's going great so far. And he tapped fully, so we know that there's no counterplay here. Oh boy, this turn was pretty devastating. I will exile this one, because this is his card, and this is mine card, so it goes to my graveyard. I don't think it matters, but who knows, maybe something cool will happen. Here we go. Alright, I mean, yeah, it is nice. We actually fought for the board and we won. That's pretty cool. And now we can go for a 5-5 five five with a Vigilance. We've got the edge in this fight. Probably killing him would be a better idea, but where's the fun in it? And even though he doesn't seem to be playing any non-creature you know, non spells, I still like Negate in this hand. And let's see the card. The mystery card for the turn. Absolutely Emperor. So Kenzan is okay. But I think we need more mana. This just makes sure that we win. Uh, next turn we go double burn down the house. So we just need to prepare for the final turn. And you can see those angels like make huge difference. Having only this is not... Man, I lo love this guy. Uh, five mana. Fly oh, it's a Dracozar. Okay, cool. Sure. A first striker makes a difference. It will be harder to add. Thank you for proving me right. <laughs> Man, it just feels safe when you have a negate. Uh, so what do we do here? Definitely quick study. We probably want to burn it in some way. Alright, that should work. Okay, so we want to force some good trades. They want to block Zurgo. So we are giving Zurgo the first strike. Now it trades. Okay, this will be pretty epic. Everything has flying, so we can safely ignore the token. And I think this will be a full blowout. Yep. And here's the true Emperor. She was wandering, waiting for this moment. And that's probably a scoop. Now, he kinda loses his best creature for free, while also taking insane levels. Oh my god, this is, ge this is getting ridiculous. And yeah. Man, so good. Man, we are at 24 somehow. And we also have Chandra, that nearly kills him, but not yet. Not yet. We will lightning strike at dance step. And then we burn down the house, burn down the house, or just Chandra. So let's give our opponent the last moment to enjoy all of his huge dinosaurs. Let's see. What is... Oh, that's not a dinosaur. It's not cool. Wow. Well, well, well. <laughs> Alright, guys. This will be a huge attack. We are going for the burn. Oh, I wanted to... So we would play burn down the house twice and just attack with everything. So, yeah. Cheers to our friend. He is a true magic enjoyer. Alright, guys. Going first. This hand definitely doesn't look great. If we don't draw land, we lose instantly. And negate can be a bad draw. I will actually mulligan this. I think that's what you should do. And now the question, is it farewell or one mana removal? This kinda solves a lot of things. I will go like this. Man, this is already a super rough start. Like, we are definitely on the back foot already. So let's see what exactly is going on. This is a nice draw. That can be useful. And if he taps, we get a little bit better draws, you know? And Farewell needs to be leveraged into some, you know, good win con. Uh, the Beanstalk, definitely not where you wanna be. Well then. Fear my potential, my, my win con. Oh man, it's looking great. 
we don't need. Even though six mana can be useful, we definitely will draw more lands even if we scry it down. And we don't need more than you know six. We have lands for two next turns. And is this five color already? I don't see black. Which is interesting because the black is the color that lets attracts out. So Zendikar on the next turn. They don't play counter spells, right? No way they play counter spells. No way. It never happened before. Honk for the day. Honk for the new year, actually. Man, I nearly missed it. Uh, courier briefcase is pretty brutal. Man, I, I hate this card. Like, they draw so much with it. And here's... No, still no black mana. So they have to play, but man, they took weird lands. So this is white, and I think they still took white or green from some of the effects. I, yeah, with the Stomper, right? They should go for the Swamp. So I'm not fully sure what's going on. Three mana open. Hmm, we have Farewell, so I think this is the play. All right, do we go for Invasion? Oh boy, I'm not sure. We could also fire some Victory and try to hit our land. We definitely need the sixth land. I want to exile it with Farewell before it hits. And for this, I need him tapped. I need him tapped and I need to draw a land. All right, guys. I think I, I took the right thing, right? Yeah, we want the kicker version. You never do it like this. I'm doing a deliberate mistake because I want my opponent to not fear counter spells and just play his big stuff. And I want him not super scared about what we do. And I also want the extra card. So I just show him, do your worst, play everything into the board. And then I hope to draw a land for wallet. And then we get there. If I keep mana, he might be scared of counter spells. Perfect. This, see, he has no value. I just need to hit land. I need to be a great mythic player and hit a land right now. This, like the whole plan boils down to drawing a land. Man, I'm a true mythic player right now. And this was exactly our our point. Artifacts, I nearly missed it. And no graveyards. Okay, I have, I was scared I don't have double white. See? And this is how you negate your opponent three cards with the briefcase, because he tapped out, even though he had all the mana. And if we hold mana, he would be scared of counter spell. Well, he gets up the bean style, that's not perfect. I would prefer him to not have it, but you know, it is what it is. And now we can make some, for, so you, we can go for some big plays. I'm going for this one. Uh, I need to get counter spell before he plays a Draxa. Man, farewell is so tempting. This is also tempting. But I don't have good enough situation to miss two turns in a row. We need to fight for the board still. We can later maybe crack it, but it will take a moment. Here she is. Well. Our opponent is good at magic. He played the big stuff. And I mean, triple binding, he can only take one. Man, that is very unlucky on his part. Like he hit five enchantments and he can only take one. That means two of the three bindings go to the bin. And it also kills his Wimpcon, right? He took one binding. Yeah, the rest of the cards are still good. So probably doesn't make as much difference. And this is exactly why we took Dissipate. We needed him to do it one turn later. But, you know, what can you do, man? What can you do? What can you do? I mean, you can take seven damage. That seems like a great idea. Yep, so he checks if there's reaction, but there is none. Well, not looking great so far. It feels that a lot of things went very unlucky. I think we had a decent plan, but this attracts a one turn before we were ready for it, like it's a death sentence. And we're not enough ahead to get cut your losses. So right now we need to work with, you know, some sunfalls and try to go from there. 
No sandfall even. That's it's getting worse and worse, man. I probably okay, okay. So I can play Chandra, Lightning Strike, and something else. This is not looking great. Yeah, and he can answer to to Chandra, so I kind of need to deal four damage instantly. Okay, you know what? I think I have a plan. Six damage. Okay, okay, okay. It's not looking great, man, but maybe we can work with it somehow. Well, this is this is tempting, but we cannot go for it. I mean, this won't be as great as I want it to be, but I think that's a fair shot. But we are definitely in losing position right now. I mean, this kind of clears the board and prolongs the game. And we like we have as much value as they do. The problem is that they have more mana every turn, so it kind of like I feel the pressure. Like they deal so many, like make so many threats every turn. Oh, they didn't go for it. Okay, that's something I didn't expect. Huh? I don't think it changes much, man. Like he still needs to do it and. Like, he just gave it for free. Uh, the man, up the bean start is brutal. Ah, oh, it's such a good card. I'm sorry. But we got the full value. And that's the point. So this one hits a Traxa, this one hit, And this means that Invasion of Archavios can be, you know, flipped easy with Zurg and Ujatai. This is why we have Lightning Strike in the deck and, you know, not something else. Because it can hit N target. A very magical keyword that... I'm not sure if that was intentional, right? Because the battles are new additions, so, you know, the older cards didn't have this difference. Like, it was creature or planeswalker anyway. Now it's a little bit bigger difference. So, of course, now we need to keep hitting sweepers. So we are not out of the woods for sure. Definitely not. So, we go to... One... Two. We could kill one extra creature or keep up uh, dissipate. I think we have enough, right? We kill. Oh, but we need to bargain. I don't have a bargain target. Okay, that's worse. That's worse. So I guess we just need to be efficient then. This is also any target, but of course we cannot afford anything else. And we might get uh, denied the light thing. We probably will, by the way. We probably will. And now they kill it in response, or after the trigger. Yep, and that will be a game. Well, that was a good game. Uh, we just fall behind too early, and like we didn't have time to get our value. And this dissipate that I took was always one turn too late. Th this is the one turn they got and they used it to perfect extent. All right, guys, after the games, I'm still a little bit sad about this Atraxa game. Uh, to be fair, without the Jace, you really have hard time beating this kind of deck. This was uh, why I cut your losses in the sideboard, so I wanted to do it, but you kinda need to miss one turn on Archavios and then you need to use uh, cut your losses, preferably with an uh, Emperor token or you know Invasion of Dominaria, something something like this so it's not easy if you care about Atraxa matchups you should include two or three Jaces at the cost of the other matchups but I wanted to you know go into different direction but fair warning you can absolutely beat those decks maybe quick study could be a Jace yeah you, you just switch quick study to double Jace and it will be fine so uh, I really enjoyed the deck and first before we talk about the deck itself like the video will be super super light so I, <laughs> I won't make too, too long of an outro i want you guys to you know get your daily dose of sloth and don't you worry i know you were worried that we missed the day but no we are we're a responsible channel and you deserve your daily video and you know then you will get one so i hope you you enjoyed the video sorry for being late but you know and you know guys to be fair like i'm actually recording this video like few hours before you will see it so yeah on the first day of the new year like here we are grinding so 
that's not dedication, I don't know what is, but I'm still enjoying it. I'm super happy with the Jeskai, I really like this deck, and you know that I'm a huge fan of battles, and I want to make more decks like this, because I think Invasion of Arcavios, Invasion of Dominari, like, this is a great styling tactic, that is kind of like very similar to the union of the, you know, not first path, but you know, the life gain one. And that also means that you probably survive until the sunfall and later you get those extra plays with Zurgo, with Chandra. This is one of the reasons I included Chandra, that was the late time edition. She can minus five. It means that very often she can flip two battles at once or she can, you know, if you dealt any damage to this or Arcavios, very often you can minus for her, get two battles to defend her, and then she's still alive. Man, how cool is that? Like a final boss, like she emerges and there's a lead, you know, guard. What? I'm a gamer. I, I'm excited about stuff like this. So I really like this edition. Zurgo and Dujatai is absolutely amazing. It's a great win con because it has hexproof, haste basically, and that means any sunfall will never hit it and the leyline binding won't hit it, so it's very hard to kill. This is one of the reasons I didn't go for Mirex because I think we should be able to close games. Uh, we probably could get Jace for a bit better result, but I like instant source, uh, you know, sorceries, and Quick Sada is a very nice edition uh, with Chan with Zurgo, like you want those extra cards, and Invasion of Archives can also double it. So we won't be longer, guys. Welcome to the next year. I'm super happy you started it with the channel, and I think the games today were pretty cool. So hopefully you had a great time, and as always, see you tomorrow.